The Glazers family will send Manchester United as there will be no pause in the takeover race as Sheikh Gazmia Madatani is facing frustrations and also the union chairman Sajid Mafik is also facing takeover frustrations. So welcome to Football Eagles, yes we get daily news, match night is transfer news and even take over news about match time United. So if you are new to this channel, please do the subscribe like this video, leave a comment below and watch this video to the end. So let's get down into it guys. So Manchester United say process have not been paused even though it's true that both Shegazim and Sajimafi feel somewhat in limbo, there are frustrations at the lack of communication but neither group plan to put out or have been told they are unsuccessful to date according to Ben Jacobs. So this is legit guys. After 8 months of the delay, no takeover process have been paused according to multiple reports the takeover process have been paused and there is there are definitely delays for all the united fans and all the united board while, while facing transfer frustrations as well even a task to is facing transfer frustrations so after a great interview with the united stand Tiawan source Ben Jacob and a great journalist confirmed that we cannot rule out an 11th hour bid to get some things over the line but at the moment the Qatari perspective is to take it or leave it and they are not waiting for any negotiation negotiations they are waiting for the decision and also Sajim Mwafet bid fell dead in the water a few weeks ago however due to him negotiating with the Glazers instead of just presenting an offer he still cannot be ruled out of the takeover race so the take Takeover raids are still going on and on. It haven't been paused, but the delay is getting out of hand. That United find of it, this will be ended. This will end maybe in just a matter of years that the Glazers are going to make that decision. According to Matthew reports, Joy and Avara Glazers are very slow decision makers. Even at the club, on the different plans at the club, they are very slow decision makers. And times two is facing transfer setback, is facing transfer frustration, is facing transfer chaos. So the United fans are not are not happy about the Glazers winning our club, they are winning our club for about 18 years right now and this is the most important part for them to make that decision for, for who is going to be the national match in it. Is it going to be Sir Jim Mafet or the Qatar billionaire Shegazi Biamedatani? Shegazi Biamedatani just a few months ago submitted his fifth and final bid as the Glazers passed his deadline however I still stay on the, on the takeover process as well to take over Manchester United. How is it going to be Sir Jim Mafet? Sir Jim Mafet made he just just made a little bid for takeover Manchester United, but no of the parties have eat the Glazers family asking price of Manchester United for around six billion pounds. So Sajid Mafes wants to control the club, while Shegazi wants to own Manchester United. That is the difference about the both of them. But the Glazers are still continuing to stay in at Manchester United. But according to multiple reports, they will definitely sell Manchester United. That is one of the one of the best things for the United fans. But we are waiting for the decision. We are waiting for decision as Sajim Mafia's party feel that no one no outcome can happen except if the Glazers take over Master in it or there is no sale. So they believe they are very very confident they are gonna take over the take over Manchester United from the Glazers family after 18 years at the club. Sajim Mafia too is very very confident that gonna take over Master in it. After he made an, and showed this taste of how the takeover process is going on and on, he said yeah the his annual company are still in the race and they believe they are going to win it so they are still in the race they haven't talked with the Glazers family but the Glazers are winning our club Sajim Mafia is still there standing in limbo standing in frustration is facing frustration right now according to reports Sajim Mafia is still considering he still will continue leaving and pulling out of the takeover race because he believes Shegazim is going to beat him in the United takeover. So he believes Shegazim is going to beat him and all the United fans hope that he pull out of the takeover race. All the United fans hope he pull out of the takeover race. So the Glazers family have been making that decision for 8 months right now and it just, just looks like this saga will stop, this saga will end. It still continue but the sale of Master United have been repulsed, the sale of Master United have been be paused so Sajima Flet versus Shegazim is still going on and on. United fans are sick and tired of the Glazers after delaying this takeover process. So both parties are very very confident they are gonna win Manchester United and be the nationals of the club. I wouldn't even know the reason why the Glazers are delaying this or 
and they coach you stay in my United and staying for another season or staying for another year and making more money out of the club from ticket sales and, and also from the mega store and United fans are still protesting again the Glazers they want them out of the club you can see how we launch our own kit United fans close now China United were forced to close the mega store they don't want to buy any jerseys to feed the greedy Glazers so we need the Glazers out of the club but I haven't made that same decision so there are still rightful owners and the top shareholders at the club all the six Glazers are still considering Sajim Mafli's bid and they believe Sajim Mafli will be the best owner we don't want that to happen they believe Sajim Mafli will still be the best owner and Sajim Mafli has a ridiculous plan to get Manchester United right now to just control and get higher stick stake of Manchester United and later in the next three years you're going to buy Manchester United we don't want that to happen we don't need just a partial owner we need a full owner like Sheikh Ghazim behind the time we need a full owner that is very very confident to take over Manchester United so do you want Sajim Mafet or the Qatar billionaire Sheikh Ghazim let me know in the conversation guys who is your preferred who is your preferred bidder who is your preferred owner of Manchester United my United potential owner Sajim Mafet still believe his annual company is still in the race and are capable of winning the takeover of, of Manchester United, we can't wait for it. So, I want to just tell you something, guys. That Sajin Mafia's bid isn't dead, that's just the conclusion. His bid isn't dead, he still has the confidence, he still has the boldness to speak to the Glazers to negotiate with them. After a great negotiation with them, the Glazers family are still considering his preferred bidders. So according to multiple reports, the Glazers are using Sajin Mafia to get higher bid from the Qatari group. Qatari group. Uh, uh, they are not even submitting any bid right now. They are not submitting any bid right now. That's what we're waiting for a decision. They are not. They have no time to negotiate with the glitches. They are just waiting for the decision. So let me know in the comment section, guys. Do you want Sergeant Marfred or the Qatari billionaire Sheikh Ghazi to be the next owner of Manchester United? So the Manchester United are gonna be more offloaded and upgraded with 1200 seats that actually shows the glazers are behind this so the glazers family are trying to upgrade Manchester United to so add another 1200 seat at the Ultra for Stadium so that actually shows the glazers are considering staying and making more money out of the club so all the United fans don't want that to happen we definitely don't want that to happen as the Glazers are still considering staying at Manchester United. So, do you want the Glazers to stay? All says minority stake to Sajim Maflet and all give the full club to Shegazim Biamed Tan, who is definitely, definitely desperate to take over Manchester United and he wants to take my United back to his former glory. So, the Glazers family are asking for a price of around six billion pounds for Manchester United. Like, how would you want a ridiculous price for Manchester United for a club that? have been unrecognizable for the past 18 years right now they are still only debts why would you want six billion pounds for Manchester United and the, the club are, are still in mess they are facing frustrations and chaos setback in the club and you still want six billion pounds so the Glazers are very very good all the United fans are still protesting the daily Glazers they want them out of the club they are still protesting the daily Glazers they want them out of the club you can see how much our first and home kit of the season United fans were protesting the daily Glazers they want them out and Manchester United were forced to call the police and shut down the mega store of my United. United fans don't want to feed the gla- greedy glazers anymore. And I too don't want to feed the greedy glazers. I won't possess any kit or the heart of the club. But we will feed the glazers to be at Manchester United for another season and for that year. Because this takeover decision just feels like it's not even gonna end. Like this takeover decision just feels like new it's gonna end. Like when will they make that takeover decision? It has been eight months right now. All the bids have been submitted just two months ago and they need to finalize this deal they need to make the announcement and we are just waiting for Fabio Mano to say a breaking news and exclusively that the Glazers are not longer the owner and they are selling to share gas in behind the tiny that's all that's the dream for the United fans so let me know in the conversation guys Manchester United say process have not been paused even though it's true that both share gas in and Sajima Fluffy somewhat in limbo there is frustration at the lack of communication but neither group plan to pull out they are still in the race but none of them have been told that they are big and not so unsuccessful but on the date according to Ben Jacobs so all these are the shit news guys so bye for the goodbye guys please do the subscribe to football you go see now to see more updated by match in it 8 months of takeover chaos 8 months of takeover saga 8 months of takeover frustrations and 8 months of takeover 
shared back so let me know in the comment section who do you want to be the next of Manchester United do you want the Glazer family to stay or do you want Sheik Gazi Bia Meletani or Sash Maflet we want our beloved Manchester United back and we have a great manager on hand Eric Tang he needs backing so we need a great owner and we believe with Eric Tang for the Qatari group we definitely have a great link up and I help Manchester United to take my United back to from Agri so bye for that video bye guys like the video leave a comment below just tell me down in the comment section guys bye guys Yes.